to walk run sore i'm sorry this is a day late as you can see we are back home we ended up leaving the florida keys just uh, a little bit early we left friday afternoon instead of saturday morning so we're gonna get a, a two devotion day today so our first one this is um number third or day 33 which would have been yesterday number 42 in the book building muscle memory our verse is from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 26 and 27. So I ran with purpose in every step. I'm not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after I preach to others, I myself might be disqualified. Um, so she talks about how sometimes you have to take a break from running, whether it's injury, vacation, holiday, anything like that. Um, but she, uh, what she says is the good news is that the time we've invested in running in the past can help us in the future. Um, and so this is all about muscle memory. Uh, muscle memory is the ability to reproduce a particular movement without conscious thought. Muscle memory comes when there is a frequent repetition of a movement. Hold on one second. Scout's gonna join us while we finish this, okay. Um, frequent repetition of a movement. Um, so it's all about strengthening those muscles so that they'll remember what to do when we have to take a little bit of break. When we come back, it's not so much a shock to the system. Uh, she says, when we coach our track and field cross country teams, we teach the kids warm up drills that we repeat every single practice. Some of these drills include marching with straight legs, kicking out, running with knees lifted high, skipping, running when bending in the knees, kicking your rear and more. Um, I see my stepkids do all that all the time. Um, so it's very much true that it's important. It can help with your running. Um, so in that same vein, when it comes to our spiritual life, there's certain things, certain disciplines that we should engage in um, to help us with our faith walk. When we purposefully engage in spiritual disciplines, it's like creating muscle memory in our souls. Our souls begin to form spiritual habits when we do the things Jesus did. He studied, prayed, fasted, confessed, worshiped, rested, celebrated, served, and gave generously. So, um, you know, I think she had mentioned it before that we, she just figures that Paul had to be some sort of an athlete because he's always making sports analogies. So in 1 Corinthians 9, um, you know, he's doing that. He's uh, comparing it to an athletic lifestyle. Um, in the verses prior to the one that I read at the beginning, he says, Don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So she closes with, We have to run to win, which means training well and giving it our best effort. Our faith step is, Jesus studied, prayed, fasted, confessed, worshiped, rested, celebrated, served, and gave generously. Choose one of these spiritual disciplines you'd like to work on in your own life. Write out a few ideas of how you can be committed to this practice in the upcoming month. Yeah, the um, fasting is a really good one. I've, uh, I, I participate in different fast different times of the year uh, that's a that's a good one you, you wouldn't think it if you've never done it before but it can really it, it affects your prayer life a lot because um, I was always taught the idea of fasting is whatever you decide to give up um, whether it's food or an activity or social media or anything the time that you would have spent or if it's food like a time when you're like man I really wish I could have a cookie like if you give up sugar or something um, when you have those moments, let that be the like the sign to sit down and say a prayer or sit down and read the Bible, um, and it just it does a lot for your for your spiritual walk. Um, our inspirational quote is from Emil Zetapek. I don't know, Czechoslovakian distance runner who won three gold medals in the '52 Olympics. Uh, I I think it's. They say, when a person trains once, nothing happens. When a person forces himself to do a thing a hundred or a thousand times, then he certainly has developed in more ways than physical. Is it raining? That doesn't matter. Am I tired? Sadie, come on. Come on. We're, Sadie's very excited that we're back. Am I tired? That doesn't matter either. If one can stick to the training throughout the many long years, then willpower is no longer a problem. Our training note from Coach Sean, 
Uh, consistent running over several years is the key to building running endurance and strength. It takes years of running and mileage to maximize your strength and aerobic conditioning. Think long term if you want to race at your best in the marathon. It's in everything. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, it really, uh, I started running in 2017 and I'm, you know, hopefully going to be getting in for Goofy for my first marathon um, in January. So what is that? It's 2023, 2017. That's closing in on six years, which really isn't a super long time. But um, to think how far I've come is, and it's just all due to being consistent with it. So I hope everyone's doing well. We had an uneventful trip back. Um, so this is part one and there'll be a part two here shortly.